In today's video, I'm going to show you three instances of when you can encounter the hash value error and how to fix them here in Google Sheets. So we have our first example where you can encounter an invalid date that will give you this hash value error right here. So in this example, we have some dates right here and you'll see that the valid dates are actually aligned to the right and the ones that are not are aligned to the left. Now, another way for you to make sure that these values right here are valid dates, it's a double click on them. And if a pop-up calendar appears, then that is a valid date. But for this one, if you double click on these, you'll see that they just appear as simple text right here. Now, this one is really not an actual date, but this one right here is a date that is formatted in another way. We have the days first and then the month compared to our valid date right here where we have the month first, then the day. So what I did right here is this formula where I deducted this value from this value to get these values. Now, since we have some invalid dates right here, it is now showing us the error where the function minus parameter one expects number values. But this value right here, is a text and cannot be coerced into a number. So it recognizes it as a text instead of numbers. That's why it's giving you this hash value error right here. So the only way to fix this would be to make sure that you enter a valid date. So it will not give you an error. Our next example would be to have actual text in your values. So we have under the quantity, we have some cells that contain texts instead of numerical values. Now our formula is to multiply the quantity to the price. And there we have our total purchase. And you'll see that we have some hash value errors right here, which will tell us again that the parameter one expects number values instead of text. So the same thing with our previous example where our invalid date is recognized as a text and not really number numeric values. The same with this one where we have actual texts in our cells, which will give us those hash value errors. And again, to fix this, make sure that you do enter values or you can just delete them if you want. There we go. And there you have it. We don't have those errors anymore, but instead we have the zero dollars right here. And for the last instance, we have space in cells. Right here we have again the same example, but instead of having those values or those texts, it actually appears to be empty, but it only appears empty. If we double click on this one, you'll see that we have actually a space within that cell. So spaces, texts, and invalid dates will always give you a hash value error if you're trying to create a formula like this. So to make sure that this is actually blank, we can select whatever is inside that cell, delete, press enter, and there you have it. The same with this one. Again, you'll see that it's not actually at the edge or at the beginning of our cell like so there is the space delete that press enter and there you have it our hash value error has now been fixed or if you do have those values you can just enter them right here and there you have it those were three instances on when you can encounter the hash value error and how to fix it here in google sheets thanks for watching if you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.